with the Marion County Budget. Thank you, Bruce. I'd like to start by talking about the budget. Uh, a statement was released today by a former Federal Reserve Chairman who said that the Illinois budget is not fiscally sustainable. We were promised in 2011 that our increase in income taxes was temporary. With this statement and the task force report that we have tomorrow, is that income tax increase actually temporary? Well, by law, uh, part of that income tax is temporary, by law. But part of it doesn't go away for 15 years. And, and here's, here's the problem with the tax increase. Um, the, the, the problem is that those, the Democrats who, who voted for that, and other Republicans who voted for it, it was, a, it was one week's pay out of every, from every person in this state. One week's pay. And it raised $7 billion, but it didn't fix the problem. When they took $7 billion, they owed $9 billion in cash fee bills. After they took it, they still owed $9 billion in cash fee bills. They continue their spending because, frankly, the Democrats in charge don't understand anything about this spending. We don't have a revenue problem in this state. We have a spending problem. Thank you, Kyle McCart. Dan Silver has the next answer to our question. Uh, my opponent has done a good job of trying to link me to the Democrats in Fairfield, especially those in Northern Illinois. I think anybody that knows me knows that I am about as independent as you can get, and that I am not linked to any kind of machine that would control me in any way. And I'm an unusual Democrat, I think. I, for example, have railed against the proposed 12 percent tax on gas and oil that would impact the Southern Illinois economy more than the people else in the state. It's one of the most ridiculous ideas I've ever heard of. Most of our wells down here do about one barrel a day. A 12 percent tax on that production would put that well out of business. Those producers will move to Indiana. We can't afford to do that. The governor and this facility closure has made big mistakes at TAM, at the Animal Disease Lab, at Murray Center. And I think we made a mistake, but we need to try to reverse. So, uh, uh, yes, the question was about uh, is the income tax uh, increase going to be permanent? We don't exist in a vacuum. And there's a national economy to consider, a global economy, a state economy, and a local one. And I think that we are in such trouble that it might not go away as quickly as we want. Thank you, Dan. So, Dan, stay at the podium. You'll have